Alrighty there. So after I started doing that sort of Egyptian-ish style Missoula City creation that I have up on my channel, I decided to take a look at more traditional ancient Egyptian houses and what they kind of looked like. So I took a little bit of a bit of a look at that on, I guess, Google Images would be the appropriate place. And so I came up with an image that sort of, oh God, the lag. Well, it's not as bad as it was the last video I did. So I came up with this uh, um, design right here. And I know my, my recording device is a little jerky. I can't really help it. I'm, I'm doing 25 frames per second to kind of actually help that. And it's actually working better than it was before. Before it was really horrible. I'd be like all of a sudden over there. At least now it's not too bad. But anyways, this was the style of house that I was actually met with. And oh god, where am I? Okay. And I actually really like it. I think it's kind of cool. It, um, I kind of ex don't really know any specific details about why this house is shaped this particular way or why it was made this way. It does have really high walls, which makes me suggest that maybe this is to protect from sandstorms and wind and things like that in the outer elements. They, the images I looked at had these little small cushioned seats out front, and there are, I know that a lot of people are probably thinking, like, put that over that. Well, in the image that I saw, it looked like the person was praying. And in a lot of religions around the world, you don't typically cover yourself while you pray. That's like hiding yourself from your god or gods, and you just don't do that. Um, so I think that's why there's no cover, but just to make people happy, I did put this little shaded thing here, and there's a, another shade thing over there, and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I know this is a little jerky. I'm going to do a tutorial of how to build these and go through the actual building process, but just to give you a little bit of a showing, too, of the inside of the building itself. Let me get out of flying. So one thing that I took a look at, too, is ancient Egyptian beds. And were very flat extremely flat, and they did have this a little bit of a lip around the edge, you know, going up kind of, it wasn't this prominent, but they had, you know, high legs too, and I didn't put on the legs because you can't really do that in Minecraft unless you use this and, you know, the fences, and the fences don't really look very good. So, that are, like, being way too tall. So, yeah, this is the closest I could get to, like, an ancient Egyptian bed, and I actually really like it. I think it looks very cool. Um... I've seen on other channels people have done like sunken in beds, and that always looks really cool too, but I don't like the look, when you're doing like ancient Egyptian, I don't necessarily like the look of the sunken in beds because they kind of look um, a little too modern, and you don't really want blankets in this kind of weather, that's um, no, <laughs> it's too hot. So yeah, this is just a storage area now, and the image that I looked at, it Actually, there was a um, religious statue. I think it was an Anubis statue in here. I uh, can't really recreate that in Minecraft, so it's a storage area. That way, if you're doing this as like a roleplay type thing, it um, makes sense. And, you know, you could... Let me go back. Oh, God. I just want to point out that when this game lags, I cannot move around properly in this game. Um, I have custom control set for reasons, so this is empty. But, that's my pathetic inventory. Anyways, this is empty, but if you're doing a roleplay game or an adventure map or something like that, and you needed a sandstone city and you wanted a specific, like, if there was an Egyptian plot, or if the, not an Egyptian plot, but if the story's set in Egypt and the plot ev involves Egyptians, then this would be an appropriate city for that, and you could put something hidden inside the chest that people could go find, or if it's just a roleplay map and stuff like that, so... Let me go back into flying, and I'll fly around a little bit, because one thing I wanted to talk about, too, was also... You'll notice this is a very, um, blank wall. And 
these buildings did have more windows. It's just that in this game, when you start putting a lot of windows, the practicality of it actually looks really bad. And it starts to seem like there's too much. And it doesn't look very good. So what I decided to do is actually go around and as you're looking at various areas, well, they would, way back when, actually use reeds to make their doors and windows. So they'd have these um, reed flats that would hang in front of the doors and the windows to keep out the sand from sandstorms and dust and things like that. And their houses were actually very, very clean from what I understand. Now, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure their houses were very clean. So we got a reed farm. And I put these guys, so there's thing, you know, just put these guys together and this thing's here and so on and so forth. So another thing that I looked at too was, well, why not have like alleyways and road type things if you're thinking of like that sort of Aladdin movie style where that's really supposed to be more of an Arabian style city, which truthfully Egyptian style cities and Arabian style cities aren't that different. Um... Arabian style cities just use more wood. So what I thought of doing was putting in kind of like a little market type place. So you have all these little market tents here and this is a John Smith's texture pack by the way so that's why I have the thatch here in place of the wool. So on the texture pack that's actually um that specific texture is the sponge and the lime wool. And if you don't have the John Smith texture pack, it doesn't matter because this will look just as good. You know, this is basic sandstone and you have the same stuff in here anyways. So it really doesn't matter. So what you could do is uh, um, either use, you know, regular wool. That looks just as nice. As a matter of fact, the uh, um, stark white wool. Let me grab that. That looks just as nice. It really does. Maybe it's a little white, but it looks just as nice. Well, lag's not too bad. That's good. That means I'll actually be able to do the building part. Um, one thing that I also looked at was putting around torches because, as you can see, when it starts to be night, the torches, you know, have that beautiful luminous look to them and it keeps a lot of the light outside of the inside of the building but enough light so that mobs wouldn't necessarily spawn there or they might which would be kind of cool if you're doing a role play map and maybe you're in danger or something like that but it just I, I just love the way that this looks and the way the place turns um, dark and whatnot. Another thing I noticed too was it would be kind of cool to have you know crates set around to kind of how can I put it? Um, make the area look like people actually live here, but also put around like these little enclosed gardens. So maybe somebody, you know, grows melons and they're afraid of their melons being stolen. So they have a big wall around it. That way, by the time somebody climbs up over the wall, that was weird. I just heard a really weird noise for a second there in the background. Okay, it's gone. Anyways, um, just to point out, I'm recording this, but I'm also um, keeping an eye on my neighborhood right now, just to point out, because there have been some interesting characters hanging around lately, and I'm not fond of them, so I'm just, you know, keeping an eye out. But anyways, I mean, I'm on the second floor, so my apartment's not really in danger or anything like that, just still, you know, you start doing the drug dealing in my neighborhood, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Anyways, so basically by the time some jackass decides to climb over the wall to steal your melons, um, you've already gone out with a stick or whatever weapon you had back then. I don't really know what it would be. But you just gotta, you know, go out with whatever weapon you have and be like, uh, get the hell away from my melons and, you know, kick their ass. So, I think, oh god, <laughs> like dropped my mouse. Anyways, um, one thing that I discovered too was that with uh, um, these alleyways I don't really want to put anything in here other than space but I thought it'd be kind of cool to have these you know wood planks going from one roof to another maybe these two are friends and they go to see each other from time to time I don't really know um, I have seen this done before on other channels and I thought it was kind of cool and it's a nice fun way to kind of 
change up the space. One oh God. One thing too is that Egyptians did use a little bit of wood in their buildings, but not a lot. Usually a lot of like wood supports, so I figured to keep in tie with a lot of people think of the wood beams that stick out of the front, to, you know, which would be more up here to simulate like that, you know, roof support kind of a thing. I don't really like the look of that, to be perfectly honest. I think it's kind of, um, bland. Get rid of the weather. I don't know why that happened, because I already disabled weather, and I don't understand why weather's back. But anyways, um, I put these here, because if you just stick a torch on the wall, if it's up in front, I can get away with it, but... It, it just looks cooler. It looks almost like you set the torch up on there and that holds the torch up and it just adds to how interesting that looks. I mean, look at that compared to that. That just looks cool. I like it. It's interesting. So, yeah, and this is also the only building that has stairs, but another thing I did too was with the ladder so you could go up here and just be a nice, you know, area to sit with people and talk. This building I really like is actually kind of big. <laughs> it's a two-story. It's really the only um, large two-story building, so you go up in here. And I don't think I do. I have a bed up here. I'm not really sure. I have a better. Yeah, I've got a you know two-person bed up here, and there's more down inside here too. And I may not have fully furnished this one. No, I haven't fully furnished this one. I kind of finished. Yeah, actually, I did. Where are my torches? Let me get out some torches and I'll put that in because I'm kind of playing around with this a little bit right now too. And so there, just to light that up because there's really no windows here and that should be lit up. But anyways, um, do I want to put that there? I don't want to put that there. I want to put that there. Yeah, that makes that's much nicer. Um, so yeah, this is sort of like a little work area. I'm so sorry about how this camera's jerking around like this. I can't do anything about it. It uh, stop it. It's better that I have it this way than the other way because the other way I can't move the camera at all, and that's really irritating. As a matter of fact, let me turn down my sensitivity and maybe that. Maybe if I turn it down to like 75, I want 75. Fine, we'll go 74. That's a little bit, that's much better. It's not as knee jerky as it was. Okay, so, yeah. So that's basically that for that kind of portion of this. So the next thing I'm going to go into is how I actually built this, um, just a general house. So I'm one thing that I've been experimenting with is actually building um shall I keep that out. Building these off of each other. Because I think it just looks kind of cool. So let's see. Now I don't necessarily want to go here and you know do like this and then go like that because then it's gonna be you know just a block up against a block and that doesn't look very good and I want these to all kind of be disjointed. So, one way that you can do houses that I've seen in other tutorials is, you know, counting three in between each block. So, you'd have three there, and that actually gets you a very nice odd number, or you could just count out an odd number. With this build, I'm not doing the threes because it comes out a little odd. So, I'm actually going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to stop there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then fill it in all the way across here. And that gets a very small but very appropriate house. And it's something too where if I wanted to, I could put like a little market thing there. So maybe this house and this house are buddies with each other and they get along and maybe you know this person sells their reeds or they've gone into business together I don't know but um 
there's that. So, come on. Stop it. It's, um, laggy, but it's not as bad as it was in the other video that I did, because the other video, the lag was so bad that it was just terrible. And, well, it doesn't matter, that can be there. Um, so I actually want this to be this high. I like doing four high because then I can um, have a three high ceiling. I like the three high ceiling because uh, um, if I were to turn on mobs, then there's a chance that an enderman will spawn in there. And if this is a map where it's supposed to be dangerous, or if you were to take away all the torches and make this a little run down and make it look like an abandoned village, there's the danger of the Enderman spawning, and that's kind of cool. So, yeah, this, trying to make this seem like there's a lot that you can do with it rather than just it be one thing in one style and that's it. So, there's another build that I'm going to do as well that will... um. I don't know if I'll do it in this video. I don't really want this video to get too long. I'll probably separate it. Um, we'll see when we get there. So that's just a basic square house. It's really the only square house I'm actually doing in this build. Um, it's not going to be completely square. It's actually going to be cut off at about here, I think. But, um, still. Yeah, I'll cut it off there. You kind of want all the doors, too, to be facing in the same place. So if this was, um, like if the door was over here and a door over there, that doesn't look right. It really doesn't. And the problem with that, too, is that if I'm going to put a, a market tent on the other side of this wall right here, and that would, it would be a really pain in the ass to get in and out of your house every day. So we're not going to do that. So, I'm just going to keep raising this up, and yes, this is very square, I don't care. I like it. It's awesome. Jesus Christ. Anyways, so, that's the entrance way to this person's house, and I'm going to put the door there. I'm going to put the window there. Get the little fence in. So next what I want to do is put in the hieroglyphs because that way this, I'm, we're going to pretend that this is sort of like a, um, kind of like, you know, your street numbers, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so that can be like that. And then I'll, oh, perfect, just right amount of room for the seat thing. So I'll put the seat right there. And I want this to be a one-story building as well, so I'm not going to do, like, the staircase thing. I really want that to be the only building with a staircase, just because it's kind of like the anchor building. It's the one first building that I built in this, you know, tutorial, and that building is, uh, um kind of like the one that I built everything off of, so it gets to be extra special. I could put another window there, but I don't want to do that. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Because it's protected from the elements, and it will look kind of cool. And it'll make it a bit different. It'll be awesome. So, we'll do that. Now I'm gonna go into here, and... I get less lag whenever I'm down below where I'm placing slabs. I take that back. Lag seems to be happening more. I can only imagine what it would be like if I were up above, because that would be really horrendous. So, I, you know, I tried to get Minima to work on here, and for some reason it won't. And I've even asked for help from the person who made the mod, and that person has never responded to me, so I'm not going to use Minima because I think that's very rude. You know, if I ask you for help with, you know, the mod that you made, and you don't help me, 
you're kind of a dick. So, <laughs> just whatever, you know, fine. If you want to be like that, then be like that. I might get fraps, I'm not really sure. I don't I don't know much about fraps, so whether or not I get it is kind of like eh, maybe, maybe not. Come out here. I'm just gonna kinda be lazy and pretend like there's no s oh yeah no. Stop it. There. And watch, the second I turn off Fast Stone, all of this lagging will instantly stop, which will kill me. But at least, like, when I do tutorials, I can actually um, build and it not take too long. It takes long, but it's not a horrendous amount of time. So, let me get all of this malarkey out of there. I need torch, I need chest, I need crate. I need door and I need sign. I don't need this and I don't need this and I don't need this. And I don't need that. So let me um, get my stair. Half slab. And I don't think I need anything else. Let's do a ladder. Why not? That's kind of a security hazard, but <laughs> why won't it? That's right, I was hitting the wrong button. See, the way I have my controls set on this is forward. I, I don't use the arrow keys. Forward for me is um, the left mouse key. Um, To attack is space. Jump is J. Place is A. I don't know why I chose A. I think because I'd remember it. Then there's, um, like, that's kind of just how I have the control set, and I have, um, inventory for the enter button. Tab doesn't really do anything. Um, because it's just like, you know, I had to set it that way because I don't like to use the arrow keys when I'm moving around in simulation games like this, because I consider this to be kind of like a simulation game almost. That's just kind of how I behave. So this is a small house, so I'm only going to have one bed. So it's really just this, no, this way, this, this, and then the signs on the sides. And then I'll do it on the other side. Ew, stop it! Oh my god, so irritating. If it's irritating for people who are viewing this, you have no idea how irritating it is for me because it'll like move slightly the second that I, you know, put the cursor on the thing and then it goes go in the right place and I wanna shoot myself in the head. So <laughs> it's just really irritating. Should I put it there? Yeah, I'll put that big chest. Yeah, they're gonna have a big one. So that's really that, and that's the house, and let me get out of here. And let me put in the door. And that'll be that. So that's, um... A basic house, very simple. Nothing particularly exciting about it, and so I guess being as I have, you know, it's it's a 24 minute tutorial, but I guess I'll go into it, because why not? Um, one thing that I wanted to show off to was a farmhouse, because the farmhouses are similar to this, so they'd be in style with this type of build, but they're a little bit different at the same time, so you know, I'm not going to put in the little market thing, because it's pretty obvious how that's made. Um, and we just kind of come over here a little bit, and I'm going to build this a bit of a ways away, because I don't really want it to be connected to that, because this would be like, 
in a city, this would be the poor section. This would be, these people don't really have anything other than their house, their bed, and where they sit and pray, and that's it. Which is how it was way back when. We didn't have internet and TV and all that stuff, so. We're going to leave that build completely, and we're going to go into this build. Now for this, um, it's going to be a bit larger too, so I am going to do the three in between style here. And so it will be like that. And we're going to go here, here, and here. And these houses were kind of long, if that makes any sense. And uh, um, the walls were pretty high, but it was a two-story, and the uh, um, bottom story was used for storage, and the courtyard area was used for uh, um, how can I put it? it was kind of used more for work, you know tool work and things like that so this is something that in the Minecraft world you could use as a um, blacksmith if you wanted to I didn't want to destroy that oh, it's gonna be sandstone anyways might as well just fill it in like that no stop it go there so anyways um, And I want it to be that big just because I think it'll look cool. So right across here is actually going to be the divider between the home part and the courtyard part. And I'm just going to call it a courtyard because I, I don't know what it was really called, but it was just that like on this house over here it's got that, you know, open space, so... I will figure out this fast stone eventually, I swear to god, I will figure it out. I have three gigs of RAM on this computer, by the way, so it's not like my computer is, you know, RAM pathetic or anything like that, so I'm not exactly sure why Minecraft lags. My graphic cards my graphics card is really nice too, so I don't fully understand it. I don't know if maybe there's um some kind of problem with Java, but it's kind of annoying. So I just realized something that I did wrong. I'll have to go ahead and fix that. It's really hard to explain how this is going to look, so, um, yeah, this is actually not supposed to be there. Even though it's the divider for the house, it's really not supposed to be there. Um, so, let me get rid of it. Come on, make daylight. Okay, so... We'll just remember that that's where that is, and this thing actually had, oh my god, it's like I can't click where I want to click, and it's really fucking pissing me off. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> I almost choked on myself. So yeah, the opening was a little bit bigger in the picture that I saw, so... And believe it or not, in the picture, it, um... Is that right? I think that, yeah, that's right, that's fine. In the picture, it was, um... I don't really know how to explain it. Never mind, I'm, I'm just gonna make it, and... Oh, I know what I was gonna say. See, what happens is there's this really cool, like, um, overhang thing in the picture, and it looked really awesome. So, um, what I am going to do with that is modify that slightly so that it looks, um, 
not modern, but realistic, like up to building codes. Because I would imagine over time, you know, from things wearing down, that the person's house might um, accidentally fall forward and collapse. And we don't really want that to happen, so... It's like my sensitivity magically went back up to 90 or something. And I'm moving the mouse so slightly too on purpose to avoid this. And it's still jerking around really bad. Instead of doing 25 frames per rate, I think what I will do is take that down to 20 and see what happens. I don't know how um, good it will work, but it's worth a shot. So now that that's like that, this is actually two stories, so maybe I won't get lag. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be smart about this because putting e each one of these in individually is just gonna torture me. Um, where's my wooden axe? There we go. And so this is basically how it looked. That, that's literally how it looked. And there's a, you know, whole living area up on top of there. So, yeah. It's it's big. <laughs> it's really big. And there, you know, in the picture there was like a whole bunch of people drawn working in the place too. So. Oh, here's a really fun thing that you can do as well with these commands, which I'm going to do because it makes um, making walls a little bit easier when you're lagging like this. Not that I'm this lazy, because usually I just build up walls on my own, but right now I am very lazy. So, anyways, you go like this, and click up here. Then you click down there. And go replace air sandstone. Is that awesome or what? I love doing stuff like that. It's like so much fun. Okay, so that's that. And replace air sandstone. Sandstone again. Place air sandstone. So that's like that. And I am going to make this wall here as high as that, but no higher. Just because. Oh, wait. Yeah, um... My area's here. That way I can do the walls. Because everything in this is kind of rectangular, unfortunately. So, yeah. Okay, 
show. Oh, good, it came out right. Nice. And you do have to do a caddy corner like that, too. You can't, um, not do it that way because then it just won't look right. It won't come out right, too. So up and down. Place, air, sand, stone. See, it's made this tutorial just go so much faster. And... That. And that. Place, air, sand, stone. Cool. So, that's basically what this looks like, and you see what I mean about this uh, um, looking like there's no way in hell that should be able to stay up like that. So, what we're going to do is gonna go like this. Fence. Fence. And no. Fence. 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 Um, do I want to do it in, in the middle? Um... Now there's this really cool thing that, um, what's his name, did, and Madness64 did that I really loved, and I'm gonna, no, show off an example of it, and I am gonna do the whole thing too, because I want to do like a fully furnished house, because that would just look cool. So anyways, um, and I didn't really realize that you could do this until he showed it off, so I'm glad that he did, because it's a really fun um, option to your buildings. Although it's a little um, pain in the ass-ish, it looks really awesome. So yeah, you do have to do a little bit of extra building, but... No, you're not going to open. You're going to go... Stim it. We're gonna go like that. And <laughs> look. Jamsy Boy Minecraft gets away with bitching at his computer all the time, so I can bitch at my computer too. And you have that action, so that looks like it's a building support without actually having to put a um fence piece up there because the fence piece does not look very good. I mean, it really doesn't. So I'm glad that he like, was able to kind of um, solve that problem. If it was, in fact, his own idea, nobody else had did it before, which I, I would kind of doubt a little bit. But maybe he's like the first person to actually put it up on the site, which makes him awesome. So there, yeah, that's held up very by very flimsy supports. So basically... um. I'm going to stop this tutorial here because we're at 39 minutes now and this is getting long and I'm probably boring people. So I'm actually going to stop here and I will um, pick it up with a second video because there might be other stuff that I might want to build here too and explore and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to take it off here and I will probably have another video maybe uploaded tomorrow, maybe later on today. So... This is Alex, and I will see you around.